Has a new U2 album, Rattle and Hum, will be in stores tomorrow. There are nine new songs, along with live versions of U2 classics and covers of songs by the Beatles and Bob Dylan. Here's a sneak preview of the Rattle and Hum movie, which features many of the album's tracks. They're making a movie. We're playing a rock and roll concert, all right? We've been uh, all through these United States over the last year. New York to Los Angeles, San Francisco to Arizona. You can see Rattle and Hum in movie theaters on November 4th, and you can pick up the soundtrack album in record stores tomorrow. You too, Rattle and Hum, rated PG-13. The movie opens Friday, November 4th at theaters everywhere. It was a rainy night, but that didn't stop 7,000 plus from turning out for the premiere. And not only did they get to see the band, they got a mini concert. You two surprised everyone by picking up two acoustic guitars and a tambourine and playing four songs, including I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For. On that song, Bono shared the vocals with the others, including first-time singer, drummer Larry Mullen, Jr. Quite a contrast with the performance from the film by New York's New Voices of Freedom Choir. Rattle and Hum's director, Phil Juanu, told us what he likes about U2's music. Kind of a, an intensity that's very cinematic. There's, there's a drive to it. There's content. There's drama. Um, and, you know, it's about something. Which, which, and, and I always felt that I wasn't sure because I'd never seen them on the big screen, but I felt they had the charisma to translate to the big screen. Rattle and Hum premieres tonight at Lowe's Astor Plaza in New York. It opens in Los Angeles on Thursday and at every cinematic nook and cranny across the country on Friday. Basically, it's, it's a movie about uh, myself, Adam Edge, and Larry F. Three men and a baby. We were, we were going...